how to make one million dollars a year as a freelance consultant hey do you have some knowledge i bet you do i bet you got some knowledge you don't even realize you do in this video i'm going to show you how to find the knowledge that you already have and market it and show you how you can make a million dollars a year as a freelance consultant not have to go to that job anymore hey guys jr fisher here and in this video by the end of this video you're going to be woken up yeah you're really going to be woken up you're going to realize that you probably have skills that you never dreamed you had and those skills could make you a million dollars a year now if you don't mind i want to walk you through my story first off i was an entirely different industry in 2009 i didn't like what i was doing i didn't like my boss and i started selling things online i started selling products online now that has nothing to do with consulting but it led me to consulting because i started selling products online and as i got pretty good at it i started making millions of dollars and people would come to me and say hey how'd you do that how'd you make money online so i came out with courses and uh, those courses did really really well and then people wanted to hire me as a consultant now in the beginning in the beginning when i was working as a consultant um, individuals would hire me they would pay me x number of dollars a month i think it was charging 495 dollars a month uh, and you got two phone calls a month and then you could ask me questions between those phone calls um, and it, it seemed like uh, it was taking up a lot of my time and i thought well if it's taking up too much of my time i can either charge more or do less and i didn't want to do less so i, I went from i think 495 to 995 a month and uh, i still felt like my time was being eaten up but now i'm at 500 dollars a phone call uh, but that was for an hour and i felt like I, I could make more money than that so i then went to 1595 dollars a month uh, then i went to 2500 dollars a month then i went to 5000 dollars a month my last consulting job that i did and I, I i haven't done consulting in a little bit because i can make so much more money doing some of the other stuff i do uh, but i charged that person and they were a larger company they were a credit card company uh, but i was charging them two thousand dollars an hour uh, and i worked for them for three months and they paid me sixty six thousand dollars so you can make money doing this guys you can definitely make money doing this now the question is how do you figure out what you're good at here's what i want you to do i want you to think about your life experiences now it's kind of funny when i was selling online and somebody came to me uh, and said they needed help and i helped them and then other people saw i was helping them one person said to me jr you could charge for that you don't have to help people for free so think of things that you may be helping people with right now you know is it language is it sales is it marketing is it designing websites is it seo what is it that your special talent is and everybody's got a special talent everybody does um, i know a guy who has courses on how to play basketball okay that was his special talent uh, and he does consulting for that now he's really good at basketball you don't have to and that's the other thing that i think a lot of people get tripped up on they think they have to be the best at something to be a consultant well if that was the case there would only be one consultant for each different thing you don't have to be the best at something what you do have to do is you have to have more knowledge than the person you're teaching the more knowledge than the person you're consulting with and if you've got any degree of knowledge let's say sales marketing design what seo whatever it is if you've got a level of knowledge i can pretty much promise you that there's thousands if not hundreds of thousands or millions of people that have less knowledge than you you don't need that many clients i want you to think about that too a lot of people think well man i need to get a thousand clients no you don't because the cool thing about consulting is you charge a high fee you're a consultant you're an expert you're a pro now it's funny because people will spend forty fifty thousand dollars to go through college and get out and have no guarantee for a job whatsoever as a consultant you don't have to pay for anything you've got that life experience i've seen people who are 20 years old as consultants they're teaching you know a pay -per click or whatever they're you know whatever they learned online they're teaching those things to people and they get paid as a consultant you can you know and there's several ways to do this consulting thing you could either teach people how to do the thing that you're good at or you can actually do the thing for them so you could be an advertising consultant that taught people how to run ads online or you could run ads for people online for their business i know a lot of people that do that they find small businesses small restaurants um, hair salons nail salons clothing stores and say look i'll run your ads for you i'll charge you 1500 bucks a month i'll charge you 2500 a month plus say 10 percent of your ads or 20 percent of your ads uh, and there's a lot of businesses paying to do that and if you think about this think about this for just a second 
let's say you're charging three thousand dollars a month that's your consulting fee which is not a high fee guys you know if you're not used to charging that you're going to be like oh my god who's going to pay me three thousand dollars you you have knowledge that's worth three thousand dollars so if you got two of those clients you're making six thousand a month if you got ten of those clients right you're making thirty thousand dollars a month that's a pretty good income to get to a million dollars a year it's only eighty three thousand three hundred and thirty three dollars a month it's not that much and that may sound like a lot to you now it's only because you haven't made it you know i remember when i first started selling online and i had my first month and i made four thousand dollars and i thought wow that's a lot of money i made and then i remember a month i made eighty thousand dollars that was the month i actually quit my job i made eighty thousand dollars in sales in a month and i thought wow that's pretty good recently we've had days where we sell over a hundred thousand dollars a day a day now sometimes i have to pinch myself i'm like a hundred thousand dollars in a day i mean a hundred thousand dollars in a year is a good income that's a really good income but a hundred thousand dollars in a day that's crazy to me that's crazy to me when i started my business uh, within 24 months i had made a million dollars uh, which which i thought was pretty good but now with the knowledge i have i could sell that knowledge i could do a lot with that knowledge what i choose to do with my knowledge as opposed to just doing consulting and i do some of that i'm very selective on that uh, because i can make so much more money doing other things uh, and i don't like to depend on somebody else doing what i tell them to do so that's the one thing about consulting that i will tell you about you're going to have to get used to it most people won't do what you tell them to do um, but the point is you can make a million bucks a million bucks is not a huge amount of money the, the, the biggest obstacle you're going to have in making a million dollars online is believing you can make a million dollars online that's that's the crazy thing right uh, if i could get that through your head if you understood that and you believe that that's your biggest obstacle right there so um, get in your head that you can do this keep in mind when i started my business in 2009 i could not type and i had a hard time sending an email okay i couldn't type and i had a hard time sending email now i really still can't type i kind of hunt and peck that's how i type but the bottom line is i learn things and you can learn things too and it only takes that little bit of extra knowledge i think a lot of people go online and they say well what is it i can do online i i, I can do online and make some money and not have any knowledge why would you want to do that why would you want to do that that's like going out into the job market and going what is the lowest paying job of the job market that's what i want to do well no you wouldn't do that in the job market you would say well how can i make more money in the job market and the number one way to make more money in the job market is to be better than a lot of people have more knowledge than a lot of people so my my recommendation to you first off is to believe you could do it now how are you going to find these clients what were these clients coming from okay well clients come from knowing you and seeing you and the best way to get known and be heard and seen is on video start doing videos and some of you out there are going to go cringe you're going oh my god i couldn't do a video i look terrible on video i don't like doing video wow 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 if you want to make money do a video and it doesn't have to be the best video in the world quit saying you're a perfectionist you are not a perfectionist you've never been a perfectionist you are a procrastinator if you think you're a perfectionist and you're not getting things done you're just procrastinating because you're worried about them not looking perfect okay and they will never look perfect none of my videos have ever been perfect not a one they're better than they used to be but they're not perfect and they'll never be perfect and i know that and i try to keep making them better and better and better but i mess up you're gonna mess up and as soon as you can accept that the sooner you realize that you will make mistakes that you're not a perfectionist you're a procrastinator okay you're not a perfectionist i hear people say that all the time i'm like no you're not and, I, and they they argue with oh yeah i want everything perfect well you may want it but it's never going to happen if you aren't doing something because of perfectionism that's called procrastination now if you want to call yourself a perfectionist but you're getting stuff done just realize none of it's perfect and you're just saying that and it means nothing it really doesn't that may mean that you're trying real hard great great you're trying real hard we all try real hard but bottom line is there is no such thing as a perfectionist so you want to do these videos you want to get your content out there people will see you people will ask you questions now what i did when i was doing a lot of consulting is they had to go online they had to fill out a form and that form asked them certain questions it asked them about their finances asked them if they had credit problems it asked them how much money a year they're making now how much money they did want to make what did they want to learn in this consulting sessions and i could look through that form and decide if i even want to talk to them right if somebody's got bad credit uh and they're making ten thousand dollars a year and they want to make a million uh, and they don't have any money to invest according to the the, the survey they filled out i probably won't talk to them 
okay but if i see somebody who's making some money they've had some successes and they have some money to spend on consulting then i'm going to talk to them and when i talked to them i had a whole presentation that was in powerpoint and i would walk them through the presentation and they would see all the things i would do for them and at the very beginning of the presentation i would say look i'm going to go through this presentation at the end of the presentation i'm going to either give you an opportunity to work with me or an opportunity to not work with me i don't select everybody and i didn't okay i only selected about 30 percent of the people so at the end of this when i offer you my services and I, I say okay i want to work with you you're going to get one opportunity to say yes or no if you uh say you want to think about it that's uh, that's a no to me okay because i am not going to give you this opportunity after today and the only reason i do this is because i don't want to go through this whole thing over and over again my time is really important so I want to make sure you've got all the decision makers with you today. And I also asked them this question in the beginning before they ever set up the appointment, make sure you have all the decision makers there. But I verify it in the beginning because I don't even want to go through the presentation if they don't have their decision makers there. Why would I want to do that? I'd be wasting my time. They can't make a decision. So I would say to them in the beginning, um, at the end of this, I may offer you, you know, my consulting services and please understand that I'll only offer it to you one time. You're going to say yay, yay or nay today. Okay. Uh, and there is no, I want to think about it. Is that fair enough? Can you do that? And I made them agree to that in the beginning so that in the end, when I said, Hey, do you want to work with me? Yay or nay? They normally would say, yes, I would say about 90% of them said yes. And that's great of the 30 percent i selected the other 70 percent i would say i can't help you uh, and i don't want to work with somebody who hasn't achieved anything in their life and hasn't proven to me that they can work hard hasn't proven to me they have the financial wherewithal to actually work with me so that's how you do it guys it's not that hard anybody can be a consultant you just have to have more knowledge than the people you're consulting with i really appreciate you watching this video i do have a free course below uh, it's a $97 course. I'm giving it away for a limited time. Check it out. Click that link below. Don't forget. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button down there. If it's red, turn it gray. Don't forget to ring the bell, turn on all bell notifications. So you're notified each and every time I go live. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Put your comments below. Are you a consultant? Have you consulted before? Do you plan on consulting? What do you charge? Tell me what your successes are. Tell me what your problems are and I'll come back and answer them. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Hey, thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell right here so you can be notified every time I do a new video. Also, click on one of those videos there. Keep watching on my channel.